What is up YouTube, it's your boy Jerry, and today's video is going to be on the Utah Jazz, and we're going to be talking about how these guys have been quietly dominating the NBA, and we're going to jump right into the video, and I say quietly dominating because you don't really hear about the Utah Jazz unless you, you know, unless you keep up with them or unless you look into them, and they're actually playing some of the best basketball in the NBA right now. They're currently on the eight game winning streak. They've won 12 out of their last 14, and they could easily be on the 14, 14 game winning streak if it wasn't for some crazy clutch shots by um, Devontae Graham and then Jaron, Jaron Jackson Jr. in a different game. So, you know, they, they're playing some really great basketball. And right now, right now, you know, in this eight game, you know, on this eight game winning streak, they've been really dominant as they, you know, they rank number one in all these categories. They're number one in point differential at 19 points a game. You know, they're beating everybody by at least 19, you know, 19 or more points. Um, they're first at, they're first in point per games, uh, point, you know, point, points per game averaging 125. I think that's really crazy. And then they're also first in three pointers made and three point percentage. And then they're first in offensive rating with an offensive rating of 127 and that's really crazy and they've been doing this against some some really good teams and not only are these teams good they're great defensively um you know on this on this eight eight game winning streak the utah jazz have put up these numbers against um they've played the second fourth and tenth you know top defense in the league so you know to put up those kind of numbers you know average 125 points you know shoot efficiently from the three-point line against some of the best teams in the NBA, you know, that's, you know, that's pretty crazy. And like I said, you know, nobody is really, you know, nobody is really talking about it. And then also, so, you know, like I said, you know, we all know, you know, why this winning streak, you know, is going on. Like the Jazz, you know, they're different. Um, they're known for their defense. I, I would say they're a, def a, a defense first team, but their offense has just been, you know, it's, it's just been crazy over this, this span of games. And, you know, their offense is led by Donovan Mitchell, who had a slow start to the season. And that's usually how I go with him. But right now he's, you know, he's, he's, he's cranked it up a notch and he's had a good, you know, a good month of basketball. And he's a really fun player to watch, man. He's very, he's very explosive. And, you know, he just reminds me, of, I don't know, he's like a D-Wade that can shoot, man. He's, you know, he's too strong for the little guards. And then he's too shifty and quick for for bigger players. But, you know, this you know this offense has been um, led by Donovan Mitchell. And he's been doing a great job. But um, my thing is for the Jazz, this winning streak has been all, you know, they found their, their three-point shot. And a lot of people don't know that Utah Jazz, they got off to a sluggish start. You know, they got off to a sluggish start from the three-point line this season. You know, it was too, it was even at a point, and you know, and I say sluggish for them because you know they're usually um, they usually hit the three ball at a high clip. But starting off this season, man, it got to the point where you know they were in the bottom half when it came to three point percentage. But recently, you know, they done <clears throat> they done cranked it up, a, you know, they done cranked it up a notch, and you know they've really been you know unstoppable from the from the three point line, and now their three point percentage, you know, they've gone from the bottom half of the league all the way up to, you know, third place. And they're shooting the three ball now at like 30, you know, 37%, which is pretty crazy for for a whole team. And we all know how, we all know how important the three point, you know, the three point shot is for the Jazz. Um, you know, they're a heavy ball, you know, they're a heavy ball movement team. And, you know, they have to, you know, hit their open shots. And when they hit it, and, and when they when they are hitting their open shots, it just really throws the, the defense off balance because they have one of the best role men in the league and Rudy Gobert. And then they have two, you know, two great point guards, or I should say two great guards, and Mike Conley and Donovan Mitchell, who are, you know, they run the they run the pick and roll really well. So, you know, when the Jazz are, you know, running that pick and roll, you know, Rudy Gobert, you know, he's such a great roller that, you know, he attracts so much attention in the paint that you know you have no choice but to help it rotate or you give up the easy two so when defenses start rotating you know that open up you know that leaves shooters um you know that start they <laughs> that starts to leave shooters open and like i said the utah jazz they're a heavy ball movement team and you know the number one thing they tell you you know when you start playing basketball you know when you a kid middle school high school you know they always say that the ball move faster than the defense so when a team is ball moving heavy like the Utah Jazz, they swing that ball until they find the open shooter. And when they hit those open threes, it's not really much you can do to it's not really much you can do to stop this team. And right now, man, like I said, the Jazz are on fire. They have several players, you know, hitting over you know 40% from three. 
they have over 40, they, over, they have several players hanging over from 40% from three. Um, the highest on their team right now is Mike Conley. He's he's the best, you know, three-point shooter in the league right now in terms of percentages. He's shooting 45% from three, which is crazy. And this is on a minimum 100 shots. Um, who else is shooting 40% from three on his team? Um, Royce O'Neal, Brogdon, um, Brogdon, by, Brogdon Bogdanovich, and Rudy Gay, and then Donovan Mitchell. He takes he probably takes the most threes out of these guys on the team, and he's shooting 35% from the three, which is pretty well too. So um, the Jazz, like like you know, to have that many great shooters on one team, and you still got guys like Joe Ingles, you got um, Jordan Clarkson, you know, that's doing his thing. You know, he's up and he's been up and down this season, but I expect him to, you know tighten it up but you know to have them you know to have these guys shooting from the mark from the mark like that is pretty crazy and then you know speaking of Rudy Gay he's been a great you know a great addition to this team since he's come back from nursing his injury they've been you know they're 11 and 2 on the season you can just see um the impact he makes when he steps onto the court for these guys man with his great size and length and you know he's still athletic and you know we all know how Rudy um how athletic Rudy Gay used to be but you know, he's still one of the more athletic players in this league. And then he also has a great basketball IQ. You know, he's a seasoned vet in this league. He's been around. He's been around for, um, you know, he's been around for a minute. He got some experience with Greg Popovich. He played some great minutes for the Spurs. And, you know, his experience is shown for this Utah Jazz team. But, you know, I just wanted to talk about the Jazz. You know, their offense, like this offense is like historically great. You know, they're super efficient. And, you know, like I said, that ball movement, um, that ball movement, when they get that ball movement and those shooters are hitting, they're going to be very tough to tough to beat because this is a team that also plays, you know, defense. Like, they have defense everywhere. Joe Ingles, Brock Donovich, you know, those guys love to play defense. Um, Donovan Mitchell is getting better on defense. Mike Conley has always been good on defense. And then they got, you know, Rudy Gobert, he's known as the best rim protector in the league, coming off a of defensive player of the year. And then they're, they're a well-coached team, man. So, you know, the Jazz have been playing some great basketball. And like I said, they're sneaking up on the Suns and Warriors. And, you know, nobody's you know nobody's talking about it. But I just wanted to bring that to you, um, you know, bring it to you guys' attention, man. And, you know, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed, leave a like, you know, comment down below how you feel about the Utah Jazz this season and subscribe for more weekly content. We do this all the time and ignore it. <laughs> ignore this hat. I know it's say LA, man, but I am from, you know, Detroit. I am not a, a Lakers fan by any means. It's just, I just wear this hat because it's black, but that's curtains.